Branding guys. The blonde one is branded. Hey. Hey there. Uh, uh. There you are. Hey. I was looking for you. You were? <laughs> <laughs> Dancer. Thanks. You know what, Bloom? You're awesome. <laughs> to present our students to the king and queen of Heraklion. Our Leva race team is so strong this year, they may very well set a new school record. Our magical creature battlers are the best we've had in years, and our sword and shield warriors are at the top of their game. I would match our thrust and parry brigade against any school in the realm. This year's Day of the Royals would be the biggest one yet. So I'm counting on the boys. They will not disappoint you, sir. What about the dragons? The king is an aficionado. We've trained the most exotic dragons. I expect a great success tomorrow. One that will make the school proud. Stella, how much time do you think you spend on your hair every day? Ask not what I do for my hair, darling. Ask what my hair does for me. So what is this stuff? It's Flora's own botanical slash magical formula. Hmm. Three minutes and my hair will shine like glass. That's cool. Is something wrong? I'm just kind of bummed. You have that look on your face. It's Brandon, isn't it? He said he would call and he never did. And the day of the royals is tomorrow. He didn't invite you? <sighs> nope, hmm. he didn't. Fred not, my dear. Hmm. The problem is quite easily solved. You simply have to coax the invite out of him. Huh? Coax it out? How do I do that? You call him! But what am I supposed to say? First comment on something else, like the weather. Then segue into dropping hints. Just be casual. I could try. Fab! Or I could just drop him a text. Uh-uh, he needs to hear your lovely voice. Uh, where are you going? I need emotional support. Don't worry, you'll be dandy. I have to triple wash my hair. I can wait. Nuh-uh, call him. Just sound casual. Hello? Hey, how about this weather? Uh, hey, is that you, Bloom? It's me. Have you happened to notice how nice the weather has been the last few days? Uh, it's nice. Uh, if you think today's nice, wait until tomorrow. I hear it will be clear and sunny all day long. Uh, that's good to know. Oh, yeah. It promises to be a nice little day. It will be perfect for that thing you guys are doing tomorrow. What was that again? Uh, just the day of the royals. Right. It should be a fun day. I've never been... Beep. What was that? My call waiting. I should probably get that. Beep. I'll talk to you later. Oh, that was so lame. That was so lame. So? When is he picking you up? He beeped me, Stella. Oh, he beeped you? I'll call Sky and straighten this out. I'm sure Brandon didn't mean to diss you like that. Uh, I don't know about that. I feel terrible. Bloom just called me and I was totally cold. Timmy, I don't know how I'm going to pull off this weekend. Hey, it'll be fine. Diospro's coming. Uh-oh. Yeah, and all I can think about is Bloom. I need help. Alrighty. There must be a logical solution. A rational approach. Oh, I know. I've got it. What? Get out of town as fast as you can. Oh, come on, dude. Just keep a low profile tomorrow. Keep your helmet on. Now go call Bloom and apologize. Yeah, I'll call her right now. I'll tell her how I really... You're so pathetic. Huh? You're getting all worked up over a girl like Bloom. What? Why do you even want to be seen with that little pixie? After all, everybody knows she tried to hook up with every guy at Red Fountain. <laughs> Just shut up, Riven! Are you 
all right? Yeah. How about you, Riven? Are you all right? <laughs> hey, you have so much toot. What's your problem, Riven? What's your problem? I hope I draw you in sword and shield combat tomorrow. Bring it on. I'll so wipe you out. <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> tomorrow is an important day for all of us here. Sky's parents are coming, and I expect only your best behavior. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Riven? Yes, sir. Decorum is essential tomorrow. Do not attempt to settle this in the field. Huh? Huh? Techno, we need a map of Red Fountain. Sure. Are you going tomorrow? We're sneaking in. So Sky didn't send an invite? Neither did Brandon. Yeah. And Sky's parents are going to be there. They're actually the guests of honor. It's really not nice. You know, I'm not sure about this, you guys. Maybe I should stay here tomorrow. But you want to go. I guess I do. And you can't let a little detail like an invitation get in your way. Well, if you say so, you know about this stuff. Or so she claims. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. Yay, how neat. I guess we're all going. All right. May I see your tickets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey there! Your shoelace is untied! Hey! Hey! Get back here, young lady! Stop! Hey! <sighs> Lost them. Bunch of groupies. What a day. I'm 26G. Don't tell me you're 26F. You look radiant. What's your secret? Spell? <laughs> You and I haven't sat together since the summer of 08. We were both dating that red fountain boy. Prince Jones. We turned him into a goat when we found out he was two-timing us. The Top Magic Schools survey is about to come out. Have you heard what they've been saying? Althea will likely place first. We will see when the survey is released. We will. Oh, now I'm having outfit doubts. I should have worn a dress. But it doesn't matter. Parents love me. It's the combination of my royal upbringing and signature bubbliness that never fails me. Of course his parents will love you. Who wouldn't love an alliance between Arachleon and Solaria? True. I can see it. Our empire will be vast and powerful. Let's go find them! <laughs> he is a graduate of Red Fountain and an award-winning author. She is a former model and a philanthropist dedicated to educational charities. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to welcome the king and queen of Arachleon! That's funny. I didn't hear them announce me. <laughs> Yeah, sure. 
bring it. Hey guys, save it for later. The dragons are coming out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from lands distant and unexplored, the Mustang Dragons. These wild and dangerous beasts are the fiercest dragons in all the known realms. But fear not, our sophomores have mastered the art of dragon wrangling. Using only their mind energy, they will control creatures once thought uncontrollable. I'm going to teach you a lesson in proper behavior. of a fairy, I see, but you're not fooling me. Uh, you crazy wannabe! You revolting witch! What? Uh, uh, in spite of what the tabloids may say, let me assure you that I am not a witch! However, I can be witchy when needed. Get off of me! What do you want? A locket of my hair? An autographed wing? Uh, I will not let you hurt Brandon! are demonstrating a dragon wrangling technique invented here at Red Fountain two centuries ago. A highly focused form of telepathic projection. I'm taking you down, Brandon. You're history. I'm gonna finish you off in front of this whole crowd. My dragon's gonna pulverize you, and there's nothing you can do about it. As soon as I give him the signal, he's gonna swoop in, and you're gonna be humiliated in front of all these people. Huh? You mean humiliated like that? I don't think so, buddy. Bad move. <laughs> what are you doing, Ribbon? You're gonna get out of control! Stop! This is dangerous! Rain in your dragon now, or I'll do it for you! Now you're gonna get it! Hey, man! Calm down! No way! I'm gonna kick your dragon's butt, and then I'm gonna kick yours! <laughs> That's enough! I'll put an end to this nonsense right now! of your girls, Miss Farragonda? Yes, she is. This is a disaster. She's ruined the whole event. I am so sorry, Saladin. Well, it's a good thing this happened before the school ranking poll came out. What's going on? <laughs> you level ready! It's my turn. <gasps> Bloom. Squire! Over here! Now! Squire! My lord. Squire? Security! We pay your tuition at Red Fountain so you can protect our son! This is an embarrassment and a disgrace! You left the school grounds without permission, used your powers irresponsibly, and ruined the day of the royals! You sullied our reputation in front of the most important figures in magic. This is grounds for expulsion! Griselda is right, and we will meet with the council to decide whether you will be invited back to Althea next year. It's all my Normally fault. Normally we'd suspend their powers, but at this point in the semester I suggest dilution so they may continue their studies. That's fine. A 50% dilution will keep them out of trouble? Hey, well, we told you how the boys lied to us! That's no excuse. You have abused your privileges and disregarded your responsibilities. You have disgraced Althea. So Brandon and Skye switched identities before starting school at Red Fountain? 
Word is he wanted to see what it'd be like to be a regular guy. Like that's a reason to be disrespecting my peeps. It doesn't matter. I am so over Sky. That's very impressive. Good for you, Stella. Huh. I just don't want to hear his name ever again. You got that? I'm done with boys. I'm sticking with bunnies. <laughs>